Welcome to this Growing Point Agronomy Update. I'm Ryan Underwood, Field Agronomist for DuPont Pioneer. It's a great time of the year. Planting is hopefully wrapping up for most of you, and we're starting to see corn emerge in a lot of our fields. So I think now would be a good time. Take a moment and talk about the importance of getting out into your fields early and assessing the quality of the corn stands. When assessing the quality of your stand establishment, there are three key things to evaluate. Number one, plant density. What was your final stand in terms of plants per acre? Number two, plant spacing. Was your planter performing as you expected it to? And then third, plant uniformity. Are you seeing uniform emergence and consistent plant growth across your field? Today I will focus on the first topic, plant density. Before going out in your field, there's a few key items to remember to bring with you. Number one, tape measure, to enable you to, to measure out one one thousandth of an acre. Also, remember to bring a small trowel to help dig up some seedlings and investigate early season root development and any issues that you may find. Also, a seed depth gauge. This is nice when trying to find seedlings that have not yet merged and diagnose any problems in the field. And lastly, I like to bring a notepad or an iPad to record some of my stand counts that I'm taking and other notes that I may take. So let's talk about plant density, the main focus of this discussion. The way to evaluate plant density is by conducting stand counts. I like to wait to do stand counts until the corn has reached the V3, V4 growth stage so I can fully understand what I'm looking at, not only from a plant density perspective, but also so I can evaluate any differences in early plant growth. Sometimes when trying to conduct stand counts too early, you might run into a situation where not all the plants have emerged at that point due to a variety of factors. I would note that it is important to scout fields prior to this time in case other issues arise like soil crusting or insect pressure that would potentially call for immediate action. The corn that we're looking at here today is about B1. So it's a little on the early side, but for this video I thought it would work. When assessing stand assessment, it's important to look at your final stand as a percentage of your seeding rate. That's why it's important to bring and know your targeted planting rate of each of your fields. So when conducting stand counts, you'll first have to measure out one one thousandth of an acre. Reference the chart shown here based on your row width for your fields. This field is planted on 30 inch rows, so I've measured out 17 feet 5 inches. Now I'm ready to take a stand count by counting the established plants. I like to count rows on each side of the tape measure to get and calculate an average. I'm also noting how many plants would be considered runts or late emerging plants. These usually are plants that are two or more leaf stages behind the majority of the plants in the field. Now we can take our count that we got here today and multiply that number by a thousand, which gives us our final stand per acre. So in this spot, I got an average of 33,500 plants per acre. If you divide that number by your targeted seeding rate, for this field, the grower said it was about 34,500 seeds per acre. So I take those two numbers and divide them and I come up with 97% stand establishment in this spot of this field. So what does this percentage mean? For an excellent stand, we shoot for greater than 95% stand establishment. So 97% is great here. Perfect, uh, pretty good stand establishment. I'd consider stand establishment between 85 and 95% to be good to very good. If your stand establishment falls below 85%, additional investigation actions may be required. Things to think about, it might have been planter depth, proper seating depth is very important to uniform emergence in a consistent stand. Maybe possibly it was a seed to soil contact issue or weather factors that contributed to stressful early growing conditions or maybe even you have an insect problem. If plant stands are too low, replant may be warranted. I re recommend taking several stand counts per field focusing on different soil types, topographies to fully understand the quality of your stands. All in all, it is important to get out into your fields early in the season to understand what's going on, learn some things. Consistent emergence and uniform stand are key to high yield corn production. That's all for this update. Reference the following links or contact your local sale, Pioneer sales professional for more information. Thanks and have a great day.